discussion on war, inevitably, in any discussion on war, at a certain point in the discussion, somebody would say, oh well, it's human nature. Uh, and, uh, well, first of all, from my own experience, uh, and I still have to tell this to people because there are still people who talk about the desire of young men to go to war, the, the, sh the thrill it is for young men to be in war, to shoot their guns, to, to kill. And I thought about my own experience in the Air Force, and it was very clear to me, looking around at all these guys around me who were dropping bombs and who were killing people, it did not come from inside. It did not come from, oh, God, how good it would be to kill some people today. <laughs> you know, there was no urge to kill, even though he was really an enemy. No. Uh, but what it came from was simply we had been trained. Uh, and also we had been told it's a good war. We had been told we're the good guys, we're the bad guys. It's uh, be bad if they want it, it'd be good if we win. Uh, we've got to drop the bombs, and uh, so we'll do it, and we'll do it as well as we can. But there was no spontaneous urge to kill. Um, and uh, I mean, so that was my, my, own, my own personal experience, simply recoiled at the idea that uh, soldiers uh, have this kind of killing instinct, or the young men have this killing instinct. And then when I got away from my own experiences and just began to study history and history of wars, uh, something else became clear to me. And that is, wars don't take place uh, out of the rush of a population uh, demanding war. It isn't the population that demands war, it's the leaders who demand war and who prepare the population.